All right, time to talk tropics and the Weather Center meteorologist Eric Barris. Eric, well, there is something that we are keeping an eye on. Fingers crossed it yeah. doesn't bubble into anything. It's just it's that time of year. Mm -hmm. We have to watch, right? Yeah. Uh, first, let's get to the wide shot and just kind of give you an idea. The only thing that uh, has been something is Gordon on the right side of your screen. It was up to tropical storm status. For now, it's completely fallen apart, and uh, Hurricane Center gives it a medium 50% chance of <coughs> excuse me, trying to redevelop over the next week's time. Those percentages have come down. Either way, Gordon, not a threat whatsoever. But let me take you over here to the Caribbean. Nothing here for now, but models have been very very consistent with something trying to organize and gradually lift up toward the north, kind of give or take a little bit on the cardinal heading. For now, a 20% chance of developing. But as something moves into the Gulf, the concern is you run out of real estate and eventually have to make impacts. Now there's kind of two camps here. The European model is super wet and sloppy and just kind of bring some rain over toward Texas and Mexico. That's one idea. The other, the American GFS model, the Canadian model, kind of lifting this up to the north, getting it closer to Florida's west coast, and then uh, for anywhere from about Louisiana back over toward the Florida west coast would get some sort of impacts from a stronger system, tropical storm or a lower end hurricane. But I need you to understand, it's still way too early to make any actual judgment calls on what could happen here. At this point in time, Hurricane Center's monitoring an area for development. The model are talking about it. We'll watch model run to model run and of course keep you up to date. That said, let's talk about how this could potentially impact our local forecast. I got you covered. Central Florida's most accurate in just a couple minutes.